well people red elric here I'm smoking my Peterson this is from the Sherlock Holmes collection the pipe's called the Hanson I guess as in the Hanson caps they used to have in Victorian days conjuring up images of Sherlock Holmes and Dr Watson <coughs> travelling in a Hanson cab to uh, investigate some mystery Actually, I'm smoking some tobacco from Blatter and Blatter in Montreal, and it's uh, an English blend, and it's called Sherlock. So, I also bought a another one from the Sherlock series, Sherlock Holmes series. That pipe is the Baker Street. I like that kind of shape. I had a similar shaped pipe in the um, St. Patrick's Day. There's a nice little pattern on that. Sterling silver collar on it. And this one comes with quite a nice pipe bag. And quite a big box. Compared to the other one, which was slightly bigger than standard. They normally retail around about £120, I think, but I got mine from eBay a while ago for less than half of that price. Just enjoying, enjoying the latte. I haven't been making videos lately. Um, I haven't been watching that many videos lately. I'll be honest and truthful with you. I'm getting a little bit turned off by the amount of politics that seems to be sneaking in. Now, I'm an advocate for free speech. I believe in free speech quite passionately. And I think that if people want to talk about whatever, on whatever channel, that's up to them. I'll just uh, desubscribe from their channel because I don't want to hear people's politics. And that's my freedom as well. You have the freedom to speak. Well, you should have the freedom to say what you want and people should have the freedom to be able to say, OK, I'm not listening to you then. Although I defend people's right to say what they like, I'm also entitled to be a little bit annoyed and think that it's not the right place, in my opinion. If you want to talk politics, there is ample place on YouTube to talk politics. There's probably a hundred times as many channels on YouTube devoted to politics than there is devoted to pipe smoking. So why people feel the need to talk about their own political views, I don't know. Um, personally, I've made two videos. 
where politics was a subject, but I tried to keep it as neutral as possible. And certainly not, while trying not to give away my personal politics and my opinions, but if I did, I would hope that I'd do it in a way where I'm not just assuming that I'm correct. But I know why people do it. It's because people of certain political beliefs become almost fanatical, zealot-like, where they believe that it's not just their politics, that actually that they're speaking the truth and what's wrong with speaking the truth? You know, they're speaking the truth and, you know, and I've had this before. Um, I had a friend who was a teacher. He actually, he taught my kids as, uh, at school, but we had a few things in common, so we were friends. But he had quite strong political beliefs and some of them I didn't agree with. And, um, you know, I found that his politics sometimes would creep out into the classroom. My kids would come home and say stuff that he'd said, and I'd say, well, that's not true because of this or because of that. But it seemed like he was using his position, his platform as a teacher, to try to indoctrinate the children with his beliefs, which I didn't agree with, but... I don't like to interfere. I'm quite pleased with the way my kids have grown up, that they look at things logically and critically. They don't take things other people say and just believe them. Unlike a lot of young people these days, they ask the, they ask the awkward questions and they get to the truth themselves. But I was friends with this teacher, I won't say his name. I was friends with this teacher on Facebook. And just like in the classroom, his politics would creep out onto his Facebook things and he'd, you know, use that forum to try to broadcast his beliefs. So I would challenge him, not in an aggressive way, not in an insulting way. That's not my way. I would just say things like, um, well, if you believe that, then why is this? Or that can't be true because if it was, this would happen or this would be the way. Or just challenging what he's saying. And I think he even said to my wife, he said, uh, I find it hard to disagree with him. He, know, he knows his stuff. But the trouble is he was living in a bit of an echo chamber. A lot of the people who subscribed to his Facebook page also shared the same political ideology. And they were the ones that would get a bit nasty. And come back with the nasty labels and things like that. And accuse you of being this and accuse you of being that. So I would get a bit savage with them. Not in a ranty way. Just let them have it with both barrels sort of thing. Not in an insulting way, an aggressive way, just give it to them. There you go, have some of that. And uh, in the end, he unfriended me on Facebook. And he told my wife, it wasn't that he couldn't handle it, but his friends, he didn't want his friends being offended. <laughs> you know, so they're saying some people can give it, but they can't take it. But I said to my wife, he'll come to a bad end because he's becoming a bit of a fanatic and he'll come to a bad end. And then one day, probably about a couple of years later, my youngest came home from school and she said, you know, Mr. Let's call him Mr. D. You know, Mr. D is off sick with stress. You know? 
Then my wife told me, you know, Mr. D, he's had a breakdown. She said, you said he'd come to a bad end. She said, this is like you knew. I said, yeah. Because if you become a fanatic, whether it's a religious ideology or a political ideology, if you become fanatical, you put yourself in a shrinking world where the heretics grow and grow and the righteous ones shrink and shrink until it's almost you against a corrupt and evil world. And why can't everybody see things my way? Why can't everybody see the truth? Why have I got to try to argue with everybody and make them see what is right? Especially if you believe in an ideology where things that are right or wrong, things that are normal or abnormal, things that are black or white, things that are up or down. In the end, it takes its toll on your mind, and that's what it was. You couldn't take the strain of living in a world that he wanted to live in, which didn't exist, and trying to change the real world to become the world he wanted it to be. And that's what people have done. A few of the political comments I've heard, people dropping out just because they believe it's, they're telling the truth. Most people probably know this isn't the forum, this isn't the place to talk about politics or religion. This isn't the place for that. But they still speak it out, excuse me. Because they passionately believe that political decisions or referendums that were taken, that things have gone wrong and why they've gone wrong and what a catastrophe it all is and blah, blah, blah. I think it was... I'm fairly sure it was Tolkien Tommy that said... He mentioned something about Brexit and says, oh, I'm not touching that with a barge pole. Quite right. Quite right. It's a divisive subject. And don't assume that 90% of the people, just because you share a passion in pipe smoking, that they're going to agree with you. Because I can tell you for damn sure that 50% of your audience is going to go, no, that's wrong, that's wrong, and that's completely false. Which is why which is why I've been turned off the YP, YTPC. Which is a shame because it's only a small minority of people that are trying to push their politics. But what I'll do, I'll just simply unsubscribe to certain and people that talk about pipe smoking and keep it to that. I'll just stick with those. Anyway, that's nearly a quarter of an hour now I've been bubbling my gums, letting off a bit of uh, steam. And I thought about making this video a few weeks ago, but I've been very busy and I thought maybe I should just ignore it. But I just really wanted to say, God, is, do you really think this is the place to share your political opinions? What if you're wrong? What if you're, I know you passionately believe you're right, but what if you're wrong and you're there trying to convince the world that 
they're wrong and it's you. Just keep puffing on your pipe and keep your trap shut. Bye-bye.